During the last decade, we've seen a tremendous uh, decrease in the numbers of sudden infant death syndromes uh, per 1,000 live babies born. For example, um, probably 1991, the amount of deaths were between four, 5,000 babies per 1,000 in the United States, and now we're down to about perhaps 1,500 to 2,000 babies. And it's very clear why we have been able to reduce these tragic deaths. We have put back into the picture and recommendations three important normative human practices. One, breastfeeding. Lack of breastfeeding is a important risk factor for SIDS. Two, we have turned babies away from stomach sleeping and put them on their backs. That proved to be singularly the most significant risk factor for SIDS, putting babies on their stomachs. Why? Possibly because it promotes uninterrupted deep stage sleep. That's one possibility, a stage of sleep from which babies have a difficulty arousing from to terminate apnea. apnea. Or babies get caught with weak neck muscles breathing into mattresses, re-breathing lethal doses of CO2. We put them on their backs. And why do we put them on their backs? Because it's the only way they can breastfeed. And by the way, the third factor is the only way they can breastfeed is to have a mother close. The proximity of mother, room sharing as a form of co-sleeping is protecting babies. Breastfeeding is protecting babies. And putting babies on their back has protected babies from SIDS.